Good afternoon or morning, whenever you're watching this. My name is Gabe Fain, and I am an AP World History teacher at Heritage High School. So I'm here to briefly talk to you about some challenges that are going to exist if our students decide to take a digital makeup exam instead of the in-person exams for the 2021 AP exam administration. So I've got four challenges here and then a little note at the bottom that I'll cover. Uh, the first challenge will be these makeup exams will happen in either admin two or three. That hasn't been exactly determined yet, but both of those administration windows take place after, for the most part, the FISD school year has ended, meaning that teachers will not be around to talk with students about how this works. Um, and that could be problematic as information is good to have and students without information from FISD employees will be stressed, to, be, to put it frankly. Uh, the second challenge in reality is as well that since they're taking these digital makeup exams at home, any problems that happen with their technology uh, or could be from Wi-Fi to their own computer, compatibility issues with the College Board application to take the makeup test. That's between the students, their families, and the College Board. They're not on our campus and we're not administering them, so some of the problems that happened last year, for instance, uh, could happen again. And it's on the student and their family to kind of figure that out. The third challenge is something that wasn't around last spring because the exams were less than an hour in length but the makeup exams that our students will be taking this year will be the full exam. So depending on your subject, that's anywhere from two to three hours. And finding two to three hours of quiet, focused time at home with siblings, parents, pets, and the like could be a challenge to many, especially in tight quarters. Uh, we are not giving these makeup exams, the digital versions anyways, on a Frisco ISD campus. Uh, the fourth challenge, and I think this will be a big one for students, so you might want to talk this through with your students, is that the way that the digital exam is, is created and applied to students is they cannot go back and forth amongst questions. They have to answer a multiple choice question and they have to move on to the next one sequentially. So our students have been taught with their you know test taking skills to skip one they don't know and go back to it later. They can do that on the paper pencil, but they will not be able to do that on the digital makeup exam. Uh, this is a thing I think designed to allow, to prevent students from being able to skip ones and then FaceTime with friends to try to find answers for ones they don't know or search for them. So that could be a pretty big challenge for students. They have to do it from answer for my test, for instance, from question one to 55 in order. And I think that challenge alone would encourage most of our students to show up on exam day. Uh, the last little bit that I have here is the exact College Board verbiage about the digital exams. Uh, they were designed to not include any questions that can be answered with internet searches, textbooks, notes, study guides, or similar material. The exam des are designed to assess only the exam taker's knowledge. So as intelligent teachers, you can parse more from that statement about how these questions and exams are gonna be constructed that a student receives digitally. My fear is that a digital student would think that they can use multiple devices. They think that they can outsmart the machine and look up items and doing so will take time. And as a timed exam, that is problematic, trying to look things up that are hard to look up, don't finish, okay? So short little video, challenges for those students who maybe want to try to work the system and try to take a digital exam. These are challenges you probably want to discuss with your students to promote as many kids as possible to come to school to take the test. Thanks for your time.